love cows? Well, I have a project that is super easy you can do. A cow plush pillow. Yes, I designed this and I think it would be very easy for you guys to make. Even if you're a new sewer, don't worry. We'll have some fun. I'll show you step by step how to make this cutie and you can decorate it wherever you want. So let me show you how you can make your very own cow plush. Let's do this. So to get started, we're going to need a few materials. So the first thing you're going to need is, sorry, don't know why this was a good idea, a sewing machine. Or if you don't have a sewing machine, don't worry, you can still do the project, don't worry. You can hand sew. So don't feel like you need a sewing machine to do this project. It's okay. We can hand sew. Thing you're going to need is thread. Yes, thread. So I use um, Coates and Clark's XP all-purpose thread for my projects because I found that over time they last a lot longer and they're a lot stronger when I'm sewing. But if you're going to actually hand sew, I actually have my thing here, but... Um, it's a very thicker thread. I use um, upholstery thread for hand sewing because it's a lot stronger and it doesn't break as easily. So, I mean, it's up to your preference, but just any thread that to sew it would suffice. I just recommend those because that's out of the years I've been doing this, that's what I found works the best. So the next thing you're gonna need to do for this project is either sewing pins or sewing clips. I like these clips because they're super easy. And pins that can get all over the place and you can actually drop it in there and be like, oh, I want to step on it. Don't worry. I'm being very dramatic about that. But let's just say my husband has had an experience where he accidentally stepped on one. Yeah, I didn't hear the last of it. So I found clips. So either one's fine. All right. Next thing you're going to name is, of course, scissors. You said, oh, and I call them snippets. Snippets. You need scissors or snippets. Or both. Whichever one feels comfortable for you. I like to use this for cutting the fabric. This is snip the threads when I'm sewing. You know what? Just need scissors. The next thing you're gonna really need is polyfill. You can get this from any craft store and stuff. It's easy, fluffy. You want to stuff your pillow so you want it nice and soft. Another thing you're gonna need, it's like something that's a little trick I've learned over the years is Hemosets or a stuffing tool. It's like a wooden piece. I don't think I even have one right now because I never use it. I love these things. I'm telling you, you can get these off of Amazon. Very super cheap, easy peasy. And it helps turn in fabric you'll see in the video. Super easy, makes your life so much better. As a sewer, any project you make, hemostats, they are a lifesaver. What you need is my cut and sew pattern off of Spoonflower. I have a design account that I post different types of designs and I actually make fabric designs too that I use on the plushies I make. But you're gonna need to go to this website and download that and I'll show you how to get to the site so you can see how it looks. So, all right, who's ready to make this cutie moo? Oh, I know I am, you excited? All right, let's go. Once you go to the website, make sure you select the cow pillow design. And then I highly suggest that you use minky fabric here. And you can either do fat quarter or a yard. And as you can see, you can get four for pillows on a yard and one for fat quarter. Make sure you add to cart. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut around the white edge of the pattern all the way around on both pieces. So now you have all these two pieces cut together. Now you're going to put right sides together so that the design should come in and you should see the back side of the fabric and the designs should be facing each other as you can see here. So now we're going to take pins or clips. I like using clips because they're a lot easier. And you're going to put them all the way around the plush pillow. That way it will be a lot easier when you go to start sewing. 
So let's get them all around. There you go, see them all the way around. This is how I set up my sewing machine. I use a 90 stretch needle and I also put the needle at a negative three, which moves it to the left. As you can see here, the needle's to the left and it's not in the center. I, that's how I prefer to sew, but you can put it in the center if it makes it easier. I also set my stitch length to a two, but you can do two or 2.5. Um, I find that the shorter the stitches are, the better the outcome is when sewing plushies. So now I set up my sewing foot to line up to the design line you can kind of see going through and then I'm going to drop my foot down and then I'm going to just start sewing also make sure you back stitch when you first do your first couple stitches this way it stays secured while you're sewing and make sure you go back forward now each machine is going to be a lot different and set up than me sometimes you have to manually put down your sewing foot mine's automatic with the type of machine that I have as we are approaching around this corner here, I'm going to take a pause. I'm gonna have my needle down and then I'm gonna lift my sewing foot and then I'm gonna shift the fabric to help get around this tight corner and then I'm gonna continue sewing. This gives you a perfect corner while you're sewing so it makes it a lot more professional-like. And then you'll see as I'm approaching again, I'm gonna do the same method again as we go around the corner here and just take your time when you're sewing around these curves. Just take it nice and slow. All right, now we're approaching the end. Now you can see where I last stitched. So we're gonna take it easy here and go slow. And we're gonna make sure we have about uh, two inches so we have enough of the opening so we can turn the plush inside out. Make sure you don't forget to back stitch. And there we go. All right, and don't forget to cut your thread. Now, some machines have it on the side here, so like this. But if you don't have one on the side of the machine, it's okay. You can use your snippets. Now we're going to clip our corners and also clip all the curves of the cow plush pillow. This way, it um, when you turn it inside out, it'll be a lot more smoother. And when you're stuffing, you don't see any um, puckering in the fabric. This way, when you're snipping through all this, you'll see it will make a big, huge difference. I recommend that you be very careful when you're clipping through, uh, not to get too close to the thread. You just wanna make a good distance just so that the fabric is able to move smoothly. And you can see that I'm being very careful as I go through. Just take your time, don't rush it. Now we're going to turn the cow plush pillow inside out. I use hemostats because this helps me get more control and it's a lot easier to grab. And then I'm going to push out all the edges around to kind of get the form out. Then we're going to take the polyfill and start stuffing. Now you can add as much or as little as you want of polyfill. I usually like to start here um, and get the horns of the cow just to get, because it's a smaller piece. So just remember you can stuff the cow plush as much or as little as you like. It depends on your comfort on what you want the pillow to feel like. If you want it soft, then you're gonna add less polyfill. If you want it nice and firm and up to, against you, you're gonna put stuff it as much as you can to give it that firm fill. Now we're going to hand sew the opening clothes. But first I'm going to tie a knot As you can see here and then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through the inside of the plush right here as you can see and then pull it in so that we can hide the knot inside the plush pillow now you're going to take your needle and you're going to insert it and then come out and leave a little gap in there this is where we're going to do a ladder stitch 
it'll be like a hidden stitch so you can't really see it here as you put it pull it together so i'm going to do it on the other side and do the same thing i just did put it in and out and leave a gap and then pull and you can see it hides the stitch and then we're just going to continue doing this throughout and close the opening see that and now you can pull and you'll see all these threads get pulled in Boop. isn't that neat yes looks like you never were there now i had to reposition on this because i wasn't getting enough momentum so i put the plush between my legs and then i just started sewing the rest of this together and doing finishing the ladder stitch it gave me a little bit more control you can do it however you need to but this just made it easier for me as you can see i'm can get through a lot quicker as we get to the end here you see i'm going to close it now i'm going to tie it off by putting the needle underneath the thread and then i'm going to pull it and then i'm going to press down this helps me get it to right in there and then i'm going to take my needle I'm going to get right where I just tied that little knot and I'm going to push it through and then I'm going to pull the thread. I'm going to try to pop the knot right through so then it gives it and secures the thread. I'm also going to tie it again. I like to do it twice. It just get, makes me feel more secure. And then I'm going to pull it right through and, and then I'm going to clip the thread off. Congratulations! You made your own cow pillow! Yes! Celebrate! Pat yourself on the back! Mmm, fluffy, soft, cuddly. Mm. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to let me know. I have like different varieties of colors and different types of animals I've made so far. But if you want something specifically, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to see if I can design something and just show you guys how to make more of these. They're super easy, so much fun, and you can have a blast making them and you'll feel satisfied at the end because you made it and it's so cold and fluffy. But if you love this video, be sure to subscribe and also turn on your notifications so you can see my next videos. Alright, y'all have fun and have a good crafty day.